welcome you to this brand new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about, well, this TV. So I got this TV a couple of years ago, it is a Samsung ES6100 and uh, when I got it, it was pretty great, I mean come on, it had 3D, it had Full HD, great colors, great viewing angles, it had, and it even had internet, I mean come on, it, had, it even had an internet browser and YouTube. So it had pretty much everything I wanted, it, its browser even supported Flash. So it was pretty much great, but there was just one problem. Its greatest weakness, which came, uh, well, you only would notice it in the internet browser, is this. It's remote. Now, the problem with this is to me that this is a classical remote. So how do you use it as a mouse or a keyboard? Well, you simply move the cursor with the four arrow buttons. And in the keyboard, either you move a cursor around on the keyboard or you use this as a, a nine pad keyboard you use the nine buttons and that sucks I mean, come on let's admit it that sucks so i went online and looked for the compatible official official uh, uh keyboard and mouse and found out that they cost from anywhere from 150 euros to 250 euros that's way too much. I mean, come on, who, who wants to pay that much after they paid a thousand euros for a TV? So I thought, well, since it has USB, maybe it has the drivers to run a, ma a mouse and a keyboard since that those mice and keyboards also use USB. So first I tried with, a wi with wired keyboards and mice and now I'm going to try it with wireless keyboard uh, a wireless keyboard and mouse so they have this uh, little USB dongle that you connect in, into the TV or well actually they're for PCs but I'm gonna try if they I'm gonna try and see if they work anyway on the computer so let's see if they work so first step I'm gonna take this USB dongle I'm going to connect it into the TV to do that I simply turn the TV around Connect the USB into one of the sockets, any one, it doesn't really matter actually. I'm gonna turn this on, the mouse on, and as you can see, Uno Dispositiva Collegata da TV, which is Italian for a new device has been connected to a TV. And now it's asking me if I want to change the language of the keyboard. So it's actually, right now it's in Italian, but that's fine, I don't mind. So, by the way, that's Italian because this TV and all this stuff was bought in Italy. Don't worry that it's gonna pick up in different language and uh, any time. That's not that's not gonna happen if you buy it where you live. Like if you live in the United States, you'll probably get the English version. So it's not a bug or anything. That's just because I live in Italy. So now, as you can see, I can move this mouse around, and when I right click, this menu appears. I can go, for example, into the Smart Hub. And then into the web browser. As you can see now, here the home page is being as default. I haven't changed it to Google yet, but you know what? Big actually sure works pretty good. Hey, who knew? <laughs> so I can use this as uh, pretty much a mouse tracker, a mouse, normal mouse. And as I click, this appears. Now, with this remote, I would have to control each letter one by one either move their mouse cursor on over the button then press this button and then go on so that's really a pain but guess what even the keyboard works so now i can just simply go here backspace and for example i want to go on youtube and write youtube write youtube press enter and there it is now I'm just going to open the YouTube website and just to try it I'm gonna put this for example I'll just wait for this video to load and as you will see they were great so there is you don't need 200 250 euros or dollars to buy special USB I'm not keyboard and mice, that this will work for any TV with any mic, with any mouse or keyboard. But I have tried it myself with four different keyboards and seven different mice, and 
not on this, just this TV. I've tried it on two TVs and it has always worked. It has never given me any problems whatsoever. So I am saying that do this with caution. Like do not depend on me that say he said so. So I'm gonna throw down 1000 euros and then if there is a bug or a problem, it's your fault. I mean, it's sort of like saying do it at your own risk. But at this point, it's just a formality, because, come on, it's 11 mice and USBs, including wired ones and unwired and wireless ones, on two different TVs, and it has always worked, except the Bluetooth ones. Now remember, I have never tried the Bluetooth one, so I don't know how they work, but I can pretty much assure you that these ones, the ones with the USBs, they do work. So, this was the video, guys, hope you liked it. Um, it, for all the ones you saw, so we don't have any, pretty much any subscribers right now, or views, so help us with that, comment down below, like the video, like, uh, share this video on social, on social websites, and of course, subscribe, always subscribe.